Yeah, it is. And, you know, I bet it's so hard on a day like this. I mean, can you imagine? It's another stunner of a day, much like yesterday. And as you can see, we've already got a little bit of light coming through. Sunrise this morning, 615. You can already see some of the fairways and greens out here on the black course. Can't wait to show you a little bit more as we get some light. But the, the story is just this amazing stretch of weather. How long does it last? And I'll tell you, well, the other thing that I that just catches my my attention is this month. I mean, and the kind of range you can get in April. We had 82 yesterday, but this is the same month that gave us a high of 45. And the story goes this week that there is going to be a lot of variety. So cooler days ahead. Not today. Today's a treat. I want to show you those temperatures that you can expect as you make your way out the door for this afternoon. It's not 80. OK, we're about 10 degrees cooler since yesterday, but it's still a terrific day. Places like Persephone, you're going to get into the uh, 70s. The city gets to about 72. Maya Pack, upper 60s for some. East Brunswick, low 70s. Humidity is low. It's a delightful day to be outside. But, but this is the trend. Right, we go from 82. I mean, it's an amazing weekend. Numbers coming down, high pressure building, a bit of a northerly breeze, so it's not as warm, still comfortable. But the 70s, too, here for a limited time because then we invite back the clouds, the showers, and those temperatures will start to come down, too, as we get back to an onshore wind. And numbers will actually be below average. And you could already see the storm system taking shape out to our west. That's going to kind of shake things up for us. You see it there, all that rain, part of a low pressure system moving through the Dakotas. It's going to continue to build to the east here. And by late tomorrow, it's already a different picture as we track some of that energy headed our way. But that's then. This is now. Let's enjoy this amazing day while we've got it. And as I bring in John, can't wait to take flight with our Sky Eye drone coming up in the next half hour. But for now, let's see uh, what the weather watchers are up to. And you know, Tony, if you guys are flying, that means the wind is nice and low. All the conditions are right. Just beautiful out there. Hey, lovely numbers and reports from the weather watchers, too. Tony talks about variety next few days. How about the next two minutes? 30s, 40s, and 50s. So there's a lot of variety out there. Uh, we've got some cooler numbers for the South Shore. Good old Les in Little Neck. So uh, did he did he nail it? Let's see. It's Eggs Benedict Day, Day of the Mushroom, Orchid Day, Save the Elephant Day, Semicolon Day. Les did it again. And just some beautiful sky pictures. Really appreciate this. Walter, this is Iona Island. A gorgeous. I mean, that would be Beautiful sky there. Hey, Ron and Bruce out there, they are ready to hit the get the boat out. This I love from Jeanette. This was a, a double rainbow over Lakewood Blue Claw Stadium. This was, again, we had storms yesterday. We had some storms over the weekend. And lovely to capture that. You see it right there and there. Love that. And again, Great point. It's nice to see all the buds in bloom every day. Just You just turn around and it's just erupting in this gorgeous uh, cornucopia of color and uh, pollen. So, yeah, we do have to check the pollen. Gorgeous skies, but want to make sure you're ready for it. It has been warm. It has been wet. And, yeah, tree pollen is extreme. Grass is extreme. And weed pollen is extreme. So you just have to make sure that you are ready for it. It's been a very challenging season here and for many around the country. So Tony's talking about the, showed you the big picture of what's heading our way. So the European model between Wednesday afternoon and Thursday morning, bringing in about half an inch of rain. Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning, about half an inch of rain. And then Thursday, we'll see more rain. Between Thursday morning and Friday night, we're adding another inch of rain. So for the next few days, that would be Wednesday night, Thursday day into Friday, you're looking at an inch and a half. Now, pick a town where you're headed. We're going to keep going right through the weekend. And notice, doesn't add much at all Saturday and Sunday. So again, the peak period is going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and then the odds for rain are going to be down Friday and Saturday. So that is some good news. That is a change, too. Yesterday, models were really sluggish with the system on Saturday. Looks like we picked up the pace, and that's going to be out of here. There's the variety Tony's talking about from 82 to 72 to 52, back to 62. Hang on to your sinuses. Um, it is <laughs> National Orchid Day. Mm. People are asking, when is the la last? frost so we'll take a look at the map when you can put the real sensitive stuff out not quite yet
All I think about are allergies. I'm sorry. It's I, been rough. It hasn't has it? been really, really. It's been rough. a really, really bad year. And you don't. They migrate, and everybody's worried about. Is it something else? It's right, allergies. Right. Happy that ragweed is down. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's get.